And the first topic I'm going to talk about is this um, Supreme and North Face collaboration that just dropped yesterday. And I've saw a few people kind of commenting about it on Supreme sort of Twitter, right? People that comment on like streetwear and sneaker new sort of stuff. And I see there's a segment of people online who are kind of taking pleasure in the fact that a lot of this stuff from the new Supreme collection, right? For Sorry, the new Supreme collaboration with um, North Face that was just kind of released. And, you know, look what pictures came out there with um, what's his face? I forgot the kid face that's flipping modeling it but you guys know him from social media he's always got some crazy cool outfits on and i assume this new direction in terms of models is definitely something maybe that tremaine was involved in maybe he wasn't maybe he was but i still like the look of it i think everything in it looks really cool um good pants good jackets good bags nothing really to complain about but for some reason people were commenting online and really trying to kick um supreme and north face while they're down because for the most part especially during the rest of the or majority of today actually on the majority of when it you know the majority of the day when it actually dropped all of these jackets were basically in stock right they were all still i think a couple of them are still in stock here like this one here with a pattern with that kind of dragon motif and a few of these are still in stock and whatever it may be let's look at the backpacks are they still in stock or even the pants the pants are still in stock it looks like yeah the pants are still one of the pants is sold out and if we go down to the backpack in this collection um, all the backpacks I imagine will be in will be in stock, right? So yeah. So anyway, people are really kind of you know, kind of reveling in the idea that Supreme has maybe fallen off because one of their North Face collaborations has you know not sold out as probably the way people would expect it to sell out. Now, my initial reaction to this, just as a layman who has no inside information and just pays attention as a fan of this stuff and has been a fan of Supreme for many, 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 many years. Um, it's pretty obvious to see that they all they they have they have basically decided to up the quantities of the amount of items they make every season or maybe every year. It's definitely gone up, and especially nowadays where you'd say Supreme is as mainstream as it's ever been. It's no longer an underground brand. It's no longer a brand that kind of you know you had to kind of buy through proxy through somebody else that lives in the states and stuff. No, it's stuff that everybody knows about. Everybody, including their mum, probably knows about. So if that's the case, and they have also kind of you know started to ramp up the amount of retail stores that they have there's rumors of a store opening up in south korea i've heard rumors of a store opening up in germany another one i've heard another rumor of another store opening up in italy there's another rumor of another one opening up in france so they're clearly starting to ramp things up there's rumors that they're going to relocate the london store to another location maybe that mean they'll have more room to have more stock in who knows but regardless there's clearly an uptick in the amount of stuff that they're making it just is what it is right to satisfy demand in some respect they're still kind of pulling it back so it's not kind of flooding the streets but to make sure they can supply the demand of all the stores they have to wrap up ramp up the quantities so that clearly means that you know they're going to be more jackets available for people to buy and because there's only a finite number of supreme fans especially Supreme fans that I would like to buy a North Face because that's a very particular niche in itself. It does lend itself to realize, okay, cool, maybe not everybody's going to be wanting to run and race to kind of sell in this jacket out because, you know, they've got many other in their collection. And also the other thing I've noticed too, or I'm kind of theorizing or throwing out there, if I'm not mistaken, especially in the winter, don't Supreme put out two North Faces? So there's most likely going to be a Noopsie that's going to come out too, like the classic jacket that we kind of know Supreme for. So if that's the case, they'll have two Supreme collaborations in one season. Of course, that would mean some people might decide, hey, I'm going to wait for that Noopsie to come out instead of buying this jacket or whatever it may be. Or sometimes because now as well, the other thing I just thought about, because I remember I had this theory long time ago that I was theorizing that it felt like Supreme was slowly going in the direction of maybe producing their own type of North Face jackets because they were starting to ramp up the amount of, like even you can see here, the amount of down jackets that they had, the amount of quilted jackets that they had, like jackets that you would maybe, you know, um, look at and think oh that could be a supreme that could be a north face collaboration they started to make a lot more of those stuff in-house and if you remember or i remember clearly reading loads of old interviews of supreme with the founder james jebby and a few other people attached to it and one of the things they always used to say was that they always wanted to make the best of the best in each category so we're going to 
make the best of the best ourselves and if we can't we're going to go link up with the people who make the best in that each category so if it's like leather jackets vanson if it's like whatever war is laura piano whatever that stuff is right they they kind of go in and align themselves with the best manufacturers of each of those kind of things or producers whether they may your brands and obviously supreme you know north face is a classic sort of collaboration because it's north face ties with new york street culture and whatnot but overall they obviously do make great jackets but it did make I did kind of think to myself like if you're supreme and you do want to you know you do want to kind of keep amping and stuff up you know expanding your reach allowing yourself to kind of make more money maybe sort of get into a point where you start making your own North Face collaborations or be or start making your own North Face type jackets would be something that might make sense because I'd imagine the deal that they have they have to split something whether it's profits or whatever it may be or there's a contract I'm not really sure how it works but if you can kind of you know take away that expense take away having to divvy up that money and just keep it all in house that might actually be um, a sound business decision to go down but we haven't really seen any evidence of it every season more North Face keeps coming out you don't really hear any rumours about you know North Face you know moving away even when Super Primo doing collaborations with Stone Island. I had the feeling, oh, is Stone Island going to replace North Face? But it didn't really. Stone Island was just like another sort of like, you know, a brand partner they sort of work with on special projects and stuff. So clearly there's been some wiggle room around it. But in general, in general, the kind of underlying point is that clearly the quantities and the amount of stuff that they produce has gone up. It just is what it is. So it's no surprise that some stuff is sitting for a bit longer than it was in the past. And there's only a finite amount of fans out there that are like Supreme stuff and also that like, you know, North Face stuff. So it just makes complete sense that it would go that way. But I don't really get this kind of race for everybody to just kind of put out their hot take maybe it's a hot take thing in it because we're living in a flipping hot take society everyone's a fucking hot take mcgee but i don't know this rush that everyone has to kind of be the first person to say supreme is dead it's dead it's dead it's like haven't they proved over their 20 plus history um you know different trends different you know customer bases and whatever it may be world issues that they always find a way to survive and some of the greatest brands do that because they just keep doing what they do and the fans that they like that that like what they do keep buying what they do and it just keeps rolling 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 especially when supreme site and she introduced you know suiting to their flipping you know array of items they're putting out there there was a clear idea i'd guess in-house that we need to basically be able to provide our customers with a route out of wearing a box logo you know what i mean and that's basically what they've done maybe just by introducing them to other brands and other collaborations or whatever maybe so this idea that they're going to somehow die um anytime soon is really redundant especially when you look at the culture at now at the moment especially when you look at you know how flipping rampant hype these culture is and that hasn't died you know even though i flipping hate that sort of stuff and that seems to be going you know stronger than ever so this rush to be the first person to say it's going to die is a bit weird um, and also kind of attributing you know a slowdown in their impact or reach because you know North Face collaborators are sitting is also dodgy because some of the stuff that sells out on Supreme you know they probably like some of the keychains for instance that North Face keychain went straight away and it was like four pounds how many of those North Face keychains do you think they made 10,000 20,000 and they sold them out instantly in one in a couple of hours or something I remember I kept checking and that and that flipping keychain flew out this keychain here it went completely gaga. It's a pretty innocuous piece of thing. It looks like a bit of fabric um, with a with a flipping jacket sort of like pattern on it with a badge at the bottom that says North Face Supreme and a kind of boring at the top. That's it. Nothing too crazy. And I think it's like six pounds or four pounds or something like that. I'm not too sure. Let's check the price actually. But this sold out instantly. So if stuff like this is ten pounds, stuff like this can sell out instantly, and they probably produced what twenty thousand pieces of this, maybe fifty, maybe a hundred. Then to say that you know, and they sold all those out to say the supreme is finished is crazy because there are people out there who are buying these by the fucking thousands, flipping them, and they're gonna get keep flipped. They're gonna get flipped until the fucking end of time basically so this premise that supreme has done is really really bizarre really really odd i don't really get it but i guess everyone wants to be fucking nostradamus out there in it so you know whatever what bloody ever